Hi everyone, I'm Hazdalol from Hazimation, and I'm the game director of Moontopia. And when Moontopia came out, I remember we had to create a trailer, and I end up creating a really cool trailer with moments of gameplay and cinematic moments, which were captured in the very Hollywood style camera moves. Um, and I get a lot of people asking me, how did I do that? You know, some people even thought it was um, pre-rendered sequences. Um, I can tell you now, it's all captured inside of UEFN and Fortnite, uh, specifically the replay feature. It's a feature that doesn't really get a lot of people shouting about online. So um, I've decided to create this step-by-step -step tutorial to show you how I created these really cool cinematic moments, but also screenshots that I could use to promote the game as well on the Fortnite site, as well as social media and so on. So um, let's get down to it. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is go to your settings, which is go up here into your profile, go down here to settings, and then you go to this section here, and all the way down here you'll see replays, click on replays, and you can see here I've got it all turned on, right? So make sure yours is all turned on as well. Just in the replay section, all of that on. Now you're ready to automatically capture replay when you play your game. So we're just gonna do a quick session real quick now. I'm gonna play Moontopia. Okay, so once we've played the game, um, we now go into our career section here, once you've gone back to the lobby. And down here, you'll see replays. Click on replays. These are all the list of the replays I've done. You can see now I've just done a replay just now. Um, so we just double click this replay. It will say unsaved replay. So you say confirm. Okay, so now that we've got the replay running, um, this is essentially what you get. So if you just press play. So this is the gameplay actually playing. And these are all the different camera modes you can do. So this is actually the cinematic playing actually. But if I go to gameplay, um, this is this is me playing the game. So it's recorded a session of me playing the game. But what's really cool is I can switch between different cameras while watching this as well. So I press pause and just go to say drone free. You can see it's not really doing much in drone free. It's a little bit buggy sometimes. I find um, Fortnite's um, camera system. So sometimes it's kind of like hit and miss. But this this one's not too bad. This is a drone follow. So some really nice action sequences like that. You can also use your mouse to zoom out um, sometimes. But the best one I would select is always third person because there's a lot you can do with third person. Um, again, a little bit buggy, but what's really good is you can position stuff like this, for example, and um, hide the UI, just hitting the eye like that. So now you get some really cool screenshots. And I'm just using my mouse here, by the way, just move mouse in and out, the wheel to zoom in and out like that. And you can see here, as you zoom in, you get this nice depth of field effect here as well. Uh, let's pick one where it's not so pixelated. There we go. So I pick a nice shot like this. Pause, go down, get this really nice depth. And I can just use the snippet tool to just window snippet, screen grab, save as PNG, done. And I just then rinse and repeat. So I press play, space bar to play. And again, this is third person mode, but I can just, but at any point, I can just like, if I want to find a better angle, just zoom out, something like this. Um, so if I want a camera, so if you're recording video footage, just have the camera like this. Once you've got your camera placed, press spacebar and then capture that footage like this. Um, sometimes I try to go a bit brave and just like try to be a cameraman and just follow the player like this. So this is me following the player. There you go. Tracking with her like that. Now if I want to quickly say I want to capture it from the front, move my camera around to the front like this. Zoom out. All right, so this capture it from the front now. And I'm going to press spacebar. So I would just have OBS running all the time while you're in replay and just capture as much. So if I pause this here, this is a really cool moment here like that. So there you go. So imagine getting that, some get some of that action. Screenshot that. Always do screenshots because it's always cool. Um, and then just like, here you go. Got some really cool action now. Whoops. There we go. This is cool. Zoom in a bit. Look at that. And just pan across it like that. This is kind of cool. Whee. So you're literally being like a documentary filmmaker, but you know, with a camera trying to capture as much coverage as possible while your gameplay session is being played. So again, pause, find the angle you want, and then play. And then once I have all this footage or this stream of coverage, I then take that into something like DaVinci Resolve or Premiere, and I just edit the hell out of it. So this is a really nice shot. Look at that. That's cool. Maybe I'll just pause here, get the, get the astronaut in frame as well. It's quite like that. There we go. 
See, I can track around her as well. Get coming out Michael Bay kind of shot here. This is cool. Again, I'm just using my my mouse here and using the spacebar just to pause when I need to. So this is me trying to get onto the grind rail. This is, and also get some really nice wide shots as well because it's always really nice to show off your map as well in this way. So now I've got this really cool shot. I can just like bring the camera closer here. Maybe something like this looking up. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's cool. The asteroid floating in the foreground. Look at that. Look at that. That's really cool. So now I can just like get some really cool shots. Look at that. Whoa. Screenshot that. And just like track along with her. Pause. Let's try and find a nice dynamic shot. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Right against Earth. And then you can track with her like that. Let's go a bit closer. Let's go a bit more cinematic with this. Let's zoom out. I'm using my mouse here. Oops. Sometimes the camera would snap out of place, but don't worry because you're kind of forcing it to do something. What I do love is the fact you get this really cool trail here that you just get just by in replay only. So again, snippet tool, screenshot that. And let's see what you get here now. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, that's pretty dope. And then you try, if you, if you ever lose your player, just pause and then reframe your camera. So let's see if we can get one where it's come right past us like this. Oops, let's see if we get it closer. Oh, that's dope. And then lands. Whee! There we go. Get some nice shots here. There we go. And that's essentially how I've been capturing all the footage from Utopia and all the games we do when we cut our little trailers to promote the game because you really want to show this off as cinematic as possible while also intercutting with the gameplay footage as well. So I always advise you whenever you're playing the game, in you know in Fortnite, just capture it via OBS the game, and then also go into replay and capture some of these moments in the game, being a more cinematic promo trailer way. Um, and then you just got a really good enough footage and material to play with to really show off your IP, show off your world, show off the game, but also just make this feel so appealing and attractive that people want to play your game. You know, if you you know if you're a filmmaker, you can really just tell a really good story here as well. I love that. Look at the reload. You really get to see all this amazing animation that Fortnite gives you as a creator just when you're whenever you're in replay mode. Even something like this, like I mean, I'll just frame that like that, for example. And you get the monster in the background right there. That's a really cool shot. That's cool. And then you can just record it, track her with the camera. That's a cool shot. Kind of like a sports camera shot. I love how you get this depth of field in the shot as well. That's really cool. And now if I zoom out, you get this really awesome view of what the map looks like. And it's kind of like this drone, a helicopter type shot. Look at that. That's pretty sick. And that's just me moving my mouse around while it's in replay mode. I mean, I'm proper like Michael Bay here going here, but I love all that Bayhem stuff. Look at that. That is just so cool. Capturing all this in OBS, man, and just edit it afterwards. So that is essentially how I captured... Um, all the footage from Utopia to make the trailers and all the other promotional material. Um, you know, even that capturing car chases are really cool. Look at that. And it's track. And again, always move the camera around with your mouse. Track it like you're a cameraman trying to capture footage in an action movie. And it doesn't matter how rough it is, just keep recording. Because just like in any filmmaking, you just end up editing it all afterwards. And that's really all it is. So, um, I hope that was useful and um, I'm really looking forward to everyone out there creating their own cinematic moments inside of Fortnite. Please do leave a comment, share some of your replay moments on the YouTube channel um, and please subscribe um, so that I can keep continuing creating more content like this as I work on games that we develop at Hazimation. I'd love to also spread the knowledge and share it with you guys. And a uh, big shout out to my friend Jonathan Wimbush for inspiring me to make this tutorial. Thank you.